then you grow your boobs through fitness. What do you think? We're about to find out. Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth Lopez, registered holistic nutritionist and master trainer, and I'm here with these two lovely ladies here. You know I love to bring in the hourglass girls to show you how things are done. So I've got these two voluntold volunteers, <laughs> it's Christina and Keisha, um, and they're going to help me demonstrate uh, some things for this topic that I get this question all the time and I find it very interesting, so I thought we would finally address it. If you're doing diet and you're doing exercise together, one thing people are concerned about, will weightlifting actually make my boobs smaller? No, it's not going to make your boobs smaller, but if you are dieting, dropping calories and dropping fat, because boobs are mostly made of fat, you may actually, yes, lose some size, but, 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 proportionally, right? Because we don't spot reduce. It's not like you're gonna start dieting and all of a sudden only your boobs are gonna get smaller. Your face is gonna get smaller, your waist is gonna get smaller. Everything might get a little bit smaller. So proportionally, you'll still look fantastic and healthier, which is also great. Um, but there are some things that we can do. While weightlifting and eating right will not necessarily make your boobs grow, because again, they're ma mainly made of fat, we can lift them and create illusions of making them just look a little bit perkier and stuff. <laughs> the only way that I know of that you can actually grow your boobs if you're watching this video that might be your goal is through um, surgery of some type. Okay, that's the only one I know of. But keep in mind, boobs are made in all shapes and sizes and everyone's are beautiful. Um, so hopefully you're also very happy with just what you got and you'll be happy to learn some of these tips just to make them a little bit perkier. Okay, we're gonna start out with Cooper's ligaments. This is one that I find actually really, really interesting. And when you hear about Cooper's ligaments, what they are is it's kind of like, if you picture you're wearing a bra and then the straps are getting loose, that's kind of an example of your Cooper's ligaments being kind of loose and your breasts start to sag. So what we can do is we can actually teach you some ways of strengthening them and it's kind of almost like tightening up the straps, okay? Except for of just your boobs alone. And that's kind of just giving you an idea of how the structure works. So these two lovely ladies are gonna show you a couple of exercises that you can do to strengthen your Cooper's ligaments. So can you guys show the first one where we go in and out? So they're pressing their hands firmly together and then they're gonna push away, still drawing together, trying to feel like that middle of the chest, and then they're gonna pull back again. This is something that you can do and just keep doing a couple more reps. Do you feel, are you trying it at home? Are you trying to like lift everything up and make your Cooper's ligaments a little stronger? So they're gonna go back and forth. You can probably do like 10 to 20 reps of this. How often? You could do this like twice a week, like maybe add it into some part of a routine, like maybe when you deep condition your hair. We're all in the shower and we're just like, I've got so much time, I wish I could give it to you. You could do this. <laughs> There's your idea. Another one you guys can do. Can you show the second one, please? <laughs> so they're gonna do a pulse. So they're just going to push, push, and they're gonna squeeze and relax. And then they're gonna do it again. And then squeeze, you know, and keep going. If you wanna actually even save more time, you could do your Kegels at the same time. We could just be like popping everything up in this hole. You know what the cute, so that's, that's like, if you had to pee, this has nothing to do with boobs. <laughs> if you had to pee, you just kind of, and you want to hold it in, that's your Kegels, and that keeps stuff, other stuff tight down here. <laughs> so you could do them both at the same time, making your hair soft with your conditioner and tightening your, you know, booby bra straps and your Kegel area. It's getting very personal all of a sudden. <laughs> the next one we're gonna talk about is actually posture. Because if we, let's take the hair off the chest right now. Isn't this pretty? You don't have to, yours is fine. But she did these braids herself, by the way. I'm just, I'm not talking about boobs at all today. I wanna to talk about everything but boobs, but she did that herself. Um, we're gonna talk about posture. A lot of people are rolled forward through the shoulders or they have um, corphosis, which if you're sideways, and I'm just gonna turn her sideways, so thanks Christina. <laughs> if she rounds her back forward, this is kind of like uh, corphosis in the spine area. So if we were to find a way to get her to lift up, everything looks a little more, hey girl. <laughs> and you didn't have to do anything at all. So we're gonna show her, they're gonna show a couple of stretches that not only will, you know, 
you know, make everything look a little bit more perky without any surgery whatsoever. Um, but also, it's gonna be great for your shoulders and stuff too, and your chest, because we're gonna show you how to, um, my favorite stretch out your chest exercise and one of my favorite exercises for overhead for the shoulders. So, here we go. We're, bing, we're somewhere else. Dan, like that, right? Right. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna show an exercise to help make your posture all, you know. So Christina is gonna show you here, this is one of my favorites, not only just for making your posture beautiful so your chest looks all lifted, um, but also for shoulder health, because why not double function? So again, she's got her back against the wall, her shoulders against the wall, and what she's gonna do is she's gonna bring her knuckles and elbows, and you don't need to come up, but just kinda wide, like just kinda like out like that. Yep, as low as you can, and then just kinda out. Yeah, and keep those knuckles and elbows against the wall. And what this is gonna do, I'm just gonna show you on Keisha once again. So if your shoulders happen to be rolled forward even a little bit, this is going to assist with, oh, oh isn't that nice? With getting you right there. Thank you so much. Which is, do you see, sorry, just not to point her, but she's popping <laughs> a little bit in that position. And this can help with that on like a permanent, basis because you're going to train yourself to kind of get here on a regular versus here on a regular. Let's show you the next stretch. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to show you the through the door stretch. I think that's actually the technical name for it, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, this one here, Keisha's going to show you. So she's just going to kind of, I, I just like to hold it open with my toe. Right, and then you're gonna put your hands on either side of the door frame. Yep, just about there. And you just kind of walk through and notice that she's got her shoulders rolled back, her chest is lifted. And what's great about this is, no, again, it's not growing your boobs, but it is just kind of opening your chest, stretching you out and allowing you to be more up and just feel the stretch right across your chest. Um, so again, no, this is not making your boobs bigger. It is making your posture really nice and opening up your chest. If it's real, because if it's tight, again, you know, the tight chest versus that lifted, it's just prettier, it's just nicer in the posture. And it's, it's again, it's that nice lift. So you can hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds. I like people to do this, um, after any chest day, after any upper body day. Um, again, 20 to 30 seconds, but if you don't work out on a regular basis, then maybe just like twice a week, just on your own time, just to keep that chest up. And you can come back to us. Thanks, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we are back at the actual weight training. So dispelling the myths, because some people think that doing weights on your chest is gonna make you look like a man and give you like the man chest, but no, no, because we have rest your shoe and way less testosterone than a man. So will it make them bigger? Again, not so much because that is again fat. What it can do again is help make them just a little bit perkier. It will help with the uh, Cooper's ligaments as well as we do have muscles underneath the breast tissue so it can kind of like pop it up just a little bit and make it look all cute. So I'm gonna show you my favorite four chest exercises. Well, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna stand here and tell them what to do, which is what happens in class also. So they're used to it, but they're gonna show you. Um, Christina's gonna show, are you showing the tougher version? Or are you? Who's, I can't remember. Is the ball tougher? <laughs> So Christina's gonna show the home version and uh, Keisha's gonna show more of the gym version. So if you're at home, you can look over here and if you do gym stuff, you can look over here. Let's start off with uh, bench press on the floor. Bench press on the floor, so here we go. So Christina is showing it with a kettlebell. So if you just have a kettlebell, you don't have a bench or anything, you can just do this at home. You hold on to the horns, okay, which is the kind of the horns, and she's just gonna bring it down and you're showing it at the same time, so just jump right in there and start working and then they can kind of just look everywhere at the same time, it's fine. So, and with Keisha, when she's doing this, she's got her head relaxed on the ball and her shoulders relaxed on the ball. She's gonna bring them down, just uh, the dumbbells, just kind of in line with her boobs and drive it up. And when you come to the top, don't forget to flex right between your chest. So you come up and you, you squeeze together, kind of like what we did when we were doing those Cooper's ligament exercises. So these are two exercises that you can do, whether depending on the equipment that you have, which is excellent. Next, we're gonna show the chest fly. So the chest fly, I'm gonna have Christina do a fun 
a fun way of doing it. So now they're both doing chest flies, and again, I'm giving two different versions that will hit your chest. And again, when you come up, you wanna flex right through the middle. No, it will not make you look masculine. It's gonna help with like the middle of your chest and that like cute line there. So I've added abdominals to hers because she's strong and she can handle that. If your back is not strong, just leave your feet flat on the floor, just like this, and you can just do the beginner version like so. And then Keisha is getting a little extra booty work because she's flexing her bum right now, right? Super flexing her bum <laughs> while she keeps her head relaxed on the ball, but head and shoulders. One thing that people do incorrectly when they're doing this is roll back a little bit more, Keisha, so you have to strain your neck to hold it up. Now do it. This is what people want to do. Okay, all the time. I always have to correct and say, just walk a little bit more forward till your head is relaxed and your bum is squeezing. Now your neck is relaxed and you're getting booty work. Like, right? It's everything, so much better. And they're both bringing it up and flexing. Let's go into the next exercise, which is the dun 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 diamond push up. These are challenging. These are challenging. They literally did this. <laughs> to see who, <laughs> they literally did this to see, who, <laughs> to see who had to do it from the toes and who had to do it from the knees. I thought that was very hilarious. So you lost. <laughs> so she'll be showing it from the toes and she'll be showing it from the knees. Here we go. So they're doing the diamond position, which means they're doing this. I feel like I'm at a Jay-Z concert. <laughs> They're doing this, and this hits the chest just a little bit harder, focusing in, so you can see Keisha's doing it from the knees, but she's still straight from her knees to her shoulders. She's keeping her core engaged, and Christina's like, and I'm good, that was, that was challenging. <laughs> but you guys get the gist, so to push up, like this, okay? <laughs> We're gonna show uh, one more exercise, and this is an incline bench press. And I like the incline because we do have, we've got the pectoralis major and minor. Um, when you're in an incline position like this, where Christina's gonna go, it hits the upper pec just a little bit more. So if you're in like that dress with the cleavage at the top, and you've got a little extra muscle under the fat, just just pushing it forward, just, just a little bit, that would be the incline press. So let's show you that. So you jump on the bench. If you don't have a bench, Keisha's gonna try to modify this on the ball. It's not super ideal. The bench is de definitely better for this, but you can fake it at home. Good, so she's just again keeping in line with her chest, driving up and flexing and thinking into the top of her chest, right through the middle and driving up. And then Keisha's doing the same kind of thing. We just kind of have her leaning also, so she's just kind of hitting the top of her chest a little bit more. Ta-da. <laughs> okay, so finally, actually no. <laughs> Turn that over. <laughs> First time? <laughs> I know, usually we just go. Okay, so we walked you guys through um, some of the different stuff. <laughs> okay, guys, so we walked you through some of the different areas that can help you with the perkiness. So we walked you through the weights, the stretching, uh, the exercises, <laughs> and all those for the uh, Cooper's ligaments. But also, there are some things that you can do to assist with not letting the sag happen. So for some preventative stuff as well. So for instance, um, smoking and tanning are both going to break down that collagen a little bit um, and make things sag a little bit more. So not doing those potentially um, could assist with keeping everything a little bit higher and up where you want it. Um, for people that do um, get pregnant, uh, the closer you can stay to your um, healthiest pregnancy weight will help um, have less sagging or maybe no sagging. Genetics as well will play a huge role in this um, for post-pregnancy with the boobies. Um, and then additionally, there was a fact that I found um, and it was really odd to me when I first read it because it like went against everything that I've ever thought to do with bras and was very confused. So I wanted to see if I could find any studies to back this up. Um, and I did find, uh, I found a study in France. It was 330 women ages 18 to 35 over a long period. It was like 15 years or something to see if bras actually make a difference in your boobs sagging or not. And um, as far as I saw, the consensus was that bras actually can weaken your Cooper's ligaments and therefore meaning like they're giving you the support so your boobs say, I don't need to work or the ligaments and they actually will get um, weak and a little bit saggier. So what I got from this study was working out, yes, sports bra because, you know, impact. <laughs>
second. <laughs> Are we good? <laughs> I'm like talking in little words at a time. You guys get what I'm saying though. But apparently like if you're just home and you're just walking around and doing your thing, um, ever since I've read this, I maybe this is too much information, but decided to not do the bra at home. But while working out, yes to the bra. So <laughs> behind the camera, they're all like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> it was it was an actual study they looked up. It was actually very interesting. It did make sense when I think about the muscles. Like for instance, when I put this in the thought process that I have, where people wear um, like uh, what are those called waist trainers, and they say it makes my core stronger. It actually doesn't make your core stronger. It replaces your core, which makes your core weaker. So I guess the bra might be the version of that where it's again doing it for you so anyways i found that very interesting you can continue resuturing that on your own i'm not saying this is what it is i'm just saying i read a study it's very interesting and it sounded relatively legit so we'll see but at the end of the day all boobs are beautiful whether they are real they're not whether they you know big small whatever just love love your boobies <laughs> <laughs> Funniest ending to video ever. <laughs> so thank you ladies for showing us yeah. some exercises on keeping them up and loving them. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> thank you to Christina and Keisha for being very on display for all of you. Please show them some very PG love in the comments below. <laughs> and we put out videos every week on generally fitness things. <laughs> so I'll see you next week. Subscribe and like. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> Daniel, you're not helping back there. <laughs>